urban wildlife, rats. They appeared on Earth millions of years before humans, and today their population is twice the number of ours. These cunning creatures have settled almost all over the world. They are omnivorous. They can chew through metal and concrete, fear neither heat nor cold, and can survive in the toughest environment. These animals have exceptionally adaptive abilities. I would say ability to adapt to an environment. That is the feature that allowed them to coexist with men for many, many years. They've been following humans for centuries, studying our behavior living in our homes and eating our food. We can choose not to see them, but they are everywhere. Rats. How does a huge metropolis affect gray rodents? What do we really know about them? And what are the risks of such neighbors? Streets of the big city. People run the show during the day, but by nightfall, the metropolis becomes the land of rats. They penetrate everywhere. In the multi-story labyrinths of basements and tunnels, these gray rodents have created a population that has already this ours. Me a model. There are approximately two rats per urban dweller. That is, if we assume that there are approximately 11.5 million residents in Moscow, according to the latest official statistics, then it's about 22 to 23 million rats. There are almost 14 billion rats on Earth, but only the most cunning and hardy species can survive in urban environments. The streets of big cities are inhabited by brown rats. And if you look closely, you will see them near garbage cans and basement entrances. You will hear them in the failing light of hallways. They live wherever people live, because people mean food. Rats are almost predators. Their food ration is 60 to 80 percent animal source foods. Therefore, they eat everything that runs, flies, or jumps. Everything that they can lay their teeth on. That is, frogs, insects, invertebrates, small mouse-like rodents, birds' eggs.